I'm the Ugandan. So I'm already. Framework that standards maximize and expected will be in one phenomenal introspection as the basis of underdetermined subjective experiences, logic leads to a hidden stigma of citizens in the Babu. We form beliefs on the basis of phenomenal introspection. Consider yellow, we can make judgments about intrinsic features that they are bright. Consider for pleasure, we judge that they are good. Consider your increasing pleasure, just as things are brighter as black is replaced by yellow. The visual field things are better as there is more pleasure, worse as there is more pain. Pleasure is part of a subjective experience, just as our experiences in looking at oranges have brightness in common. These experiences have a feeling in common. The notion of pleasure is a sort of a felt goodness, and two, moral uncertainty means that we should prevent extinction. Bostrom or pressing axiology might be confused with me, not imagine the best and there is a value in preserving our ability to recognize value and steer the future accordingly. Ensuring a future of humanity is the best way to increase the probability that the future will contain value. Three, actual specificity. A, government must aggregate every policy benefits some among harms others, which also means side constraints, freeze action. And B, the states like wills or intentions. These policies are collective actions. C, no act of omission distinctions. Governments are responsible for everything in the public sphere. So in actions, in place an authorization of action, they have to yes, no bills, which means everything collapses to aggregation. And actual specificity comes first, since different ages have different ethical standards. Takes out you to call in the instance or imperfectly deny and linkers them because the odds will not will not be no action advantage. Cyber attacks. North Korean cyber attacks are likely. Ross and Madden 17. Uh, aggressive action from North Korea is likely to come from cyberspace. In 2014, the Guardians of Peace hacks on the corporation is costing millions. And in 2016, hackers sold $81 million. The regime had into the school children who show promise and recruit them to students into a cyber operation branch. When it comes to cyber, it is much easier to become a formidable opponent. So it is a much more even playing field. And cyber attacks are getting easier. The threat of a Russian cyber attack is high and only increasing. Those seen in 16. Given their relative vulnerability to cyber intrusion, it is difficult to understand what we haven't yet witnessed. A major attack. We have seen many dress rehearsals in the hack websites of the sensitive sites and companies voting in Russia, use of cyber intrusion in Ukraine, and the cybersecurity attacks plane is increasingly widened and attacks will be easier than ever is the I-16. In the next decade, we begin to see a widening attack plane, more people, increasing targets, achieving the very nature of security, autonomous systems, depend upon data, weaponized data, can quickly move effects from the digital to the physical, and there are a few regulations that govern the use of AI, market forces, and business management, reward efficiency, efficiency is to hack the systems are designed with security as an afterthought, and cyber attacks cause conflict that goes nuclear, Fritz 9. Uh, cyber terror could cause one nuclear state to attack another, provoking a nuclear response is particularly relevant to her trigger nuclear arsenals, computers may be compromised, attempts have been made, multi-layered attacks will be engineered, terrorists could launch a US nuclear attack, and emergency communication could be disrupted, maximizing destruction, claims of responsibility could be falsified to a hasty military response, and cyber attack causes infrastructure shutdowns and escalates to war nuclear war 2 for 12. A cyber attack could destroy the US military power grid's command and control center, could go dark, greater systems will be shut down, and communication will go silent, will be less scrambling, a cyber attack could be seen as an act of war and could be made with full-scale response, that could include the use of nuclear weapons and nuclear war means extinction, star 14. The consequences of being a small nuclear war could include catastrophic disruption to global Climate, massive destruction of Earth's also layer playing a global agriculture will be so negatively affected a global famine will result which will cost two billion people to start to death a war for less than half of US or Russia's nuclear weapons will destroy the human race, nuclear war will leave the earth uninhabitable and dependence to is econ. Economic growth is stable now, but it is fra fragile. Wiseman 614. Fed is set to rise short term interest. A board of companies, international agencies have lately issued OP reports. The outlook is at least encouraging. Most economists expect the US growth to pick up, and despite a relative recent OP assessment, the World Bank calls the global economy fragile and the perception of security, cybersecurity threats undermines investors' confidence for Nelly 16. 85% of investors think cyber attacks targeting their financial information. The capital markets will have an impact on their investment decisions. Recent runs for attacks are on the rise, and the centrality of the capital markets in America lives ra raises the stake for leaders, and prolonged dip in investor confidence kills growth. Came enough stronger. Three. Consumer purchases and business investments rise the economy. When investors lose confidence, they tend to purchase fewer. Plong is and will slow down the economy. The company stock is perceived to be undervalued. Firms tend to issue less stock and make fewer business investments. And economic de decline leads to nuclear war in 2015. Interdependent races the cause of conflict. If leaders seriously anticipate their nation's decline, they may blame external dependencies that appeal to anti foreign sentiments, contemplate force, and refuse to be deterred to nuclear arms. Sh uh, shift could happen abruptly. Changes that will economy alter circumstances in ways that render interstate peace precarious. Deterrence could lose credibility. Great powers might gamble in a cyber conventional war, and specifically true under Trump. It is he's likely to respond to even a minor economic downturn with war. Foster 16. Certain traits predispose leaders to move more belligerent behavior. Presidents whose language appear to us implicit and distrustful were most likely to use force. A sample Trump's campaign rhetoric Trump's uh, will be historically unparalleling his action. As of those who like himself, Trump says those court second lowest among presidents in conceptual complexity. Trump will respond to in a minor economic downturn with force. The model predicts Trump will initiate more than one major conflict per quarter on solvency. The plan takes the United States federal government shall conscript corporate entities to establish a cyber war national national guard. The plan solve conscription enables the military to prevent and mitigate cyber attacks. Clark and Brother 10. The government takes control of corporate entities with function essential to protect the country from cyber attacks. Will leave the administration with routine civilian tasks to accompany civilian management. The conscription of a corporate entity. The paramount goal is to ensure that the government will be able to utilize the entity as a weapon as part of cyber warfare response and customize cyber war national guard will have to be ready to serve as soon as the world called into action the school can't solve integrating civilians into the military ski even an increasing funding isn't enough clark and brother too cyber war will integrate civilians into a war for civilian known technology will be battlefield the military cannot perform the cyber war is function the military does not have enough personnel let alone enough technological adapt personnel even if the military had trained personnel that personnel will not be able to deploy quickly enough and cyber attacks occur in milliseconds 
resolution. This was cyber war is ready to be activated. The military cannot train to operate the best a rate of technology. Even if Congress increases the military's funding, it will not be able to attract individuals who have the skills needed to uh, become cyber warriors. Under you. The role of the ball is to evaluate the effects of the topical act policy versus the competitive net policy option of the school of Congress. Control, uh, control of the U.S. government is exactly what an active citizenship is about. Citizens bear the obligation to debate what the government should be doing. If there is nothing we can do in debate to change policy, we're left with little for addressing the problems. And debate teaches students to combine personal experiences with language and political power, role, role playing, and promotes learning because of uh, learning all the levels of the power of the government. Role playing teaches students to be comfortable with the language and power and paves the way for effective political activism and proposing real world solutions to the problem is key. Critics means nothing if they don't. Soul brand. The economic left also operating in its own form of abstraction. It is good carrying out critiques that denounces the various social information, yet poor at proposing any realistic construction of alternative things abstractly in its own way and ignoring how networks, assemblages, structures, or regimes or attractions will have to be remade to create a workable alternative. Our most serious shortcomings are weak and we never make concrete proposals for how things ought to be restructured. How are we doing anything at all when we have no concrete proposal? And advocates are wanting our theory and meta theory deters neck for being infinitely abusive. Otherwise, they'll always win. Meta theory ensures I can engage in theory and not lose on the higher layer. Okay. Uh, is everyone good? Cool. Yeah. Uh, point me to one like part of the app that indicates that there's a shortage now for these like cyber companies or for for like the U.S. Cyber Command. Okay, I would say the solvency is pretty good here. So that at the moment we don't have enough. Oh, where does it say that? Okay, uh, you can look at the second card. It says that at the moment the military cannot perform the cyber war. The cyber war is function. The military does not have enough personnel, let alone enough technological and the personnel. I will also say that training will not solve because it couldn't be employed fast enough. And also so, the other argument. Okay, so so you cite personnel and technology as reasons why this like status quo can't solve. How does the app resolve tech if you just like? conscript corporations? Uh, the app conscripts the people that work in these IT departments and corporations that they are already equipped with the knowledge needed. Right, right. But your evidence indicates that Cyber Command like does not have tech. Where do you get the tech from? You just conscript... Wait, no. We said technologically... Oh, wait. You personnel. conscript the entire company? No. We conscript the people. The card says, let alone enough technologically adept personnel. It doesn't talk oh, about okay. the technology. All right. uh, cool. That's fine. Uh, let's go to the... Uh, let's go to the uh, first advantage. Cool. Uh, so why do why do cyber attacks destroy the U.S. infrastructure? Okay, uh, the argument of well, that's a uh, tool for twelve evidence you're referring to. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the argument here is that a cyber attack could occur and that would destroy the U.S. for a short period of time, such as power grids or radar systems going down. These attacks are possible. That's what the cards before that show. And it says that they will, will lead to the U.S. escalating to nuclear attacks. Uh, wait. Okay. So how many infrastructure like cyber attacks have occurred in the past? Oh, I'm gonna give you a number, right? I just see that they're occurring. Uh, I can cite at the card, that's the ACI evidence. Wait, right, so like, why hasn't the US gotten more aggressive in the status quo? Okay, so our argument would be that it's specifically key, like right now, the Ross and Madden 17 talks about how aggressive action is starting to increase from North Korea. Then uh, I would say that Trump is also a good reason. If you look at the second event, we show how Trump is specifically like more aggressive than other presidents in the past, so that could be another reason. Uh, okay, let's go to the econ advantage. Cool. Uh, how, like, where, where, does your Fornelli 16 evidence quantify, like, your, your Fornelli 16 uh, evidence seem, just seems to indicate that investors would be, like, precarious if cyber attacks occurred. Where does your evidence indicate that they, like, decisively would not invest? Okay, uh, the Fornelli 16 evidence says that 85% of investors think cyber attacks targeting their financial information, the capital markets will have an impact on their investment decisions. I think it's pretty clear in saying that it affects the way they decide. Okay. It shows you a number of how, That's fine. Like, what is, percentage of them Is would. your Kim 3 evidence specific to, like, investors, it, like, investor confidence? in the context of cyber attacks? Uh, I mean, I would say yes. Wait, where does... Where like, does I don't think that, well, I don't think the card specific to that, but I think, like, if we prove that investor confidence is linked to cyber attacks, then this person's investor confidence is important. I think there's a clear... Wait, there. this it seems to be talking about investor confidence in general. Well, yeah, but I say that, like, uh, okay, I guess you will have to answer that for Nelly evidence to show why there's no correlation between cybersecurity and investor confidence versus... Uh, okay, that's like fine. I'm saying that the link chain like is still there, even if like the okay. Court also, to clarify, say, wait, your plan text says we conscript corporate entities. Do you conscript the corporation or the individuals in the corporation? Uh, we conscript the corporations and they send like the right to department. Okay, so, all right, starting prep. Wait, so if you conscript the corporations, the corporations would be like functionally working for the government, right? Uh, yes. Okay.
Uh, end prep, I have 345. What are you ordering? Uh, it's going to be three off case, so I'll send the doc. Yeah. Yeah, it's in. Yeah. Yeah, and on case, it's going to be under view. Then there's going to be like case turns and then stuff on each advantage. I'll sign post. Did you get it? Yeah. All right, uh, Evan, you good? Cool. Yeah. Interpretation National Service is compulsory service for individuals. Score him 92 National Service. The form of individuals in world service individuals are a single human being as distinguished from a group. According to dictionary.com, violation read the plan. They conscript company and uh, corporate entities and CX groups. They said yes when I asked if companies work for the government. Post plan, net benefit. Islam and Salah, hundreds of apps. They point they justify conscripting hospitals, schools, and bank skills. Net ground of individuals. That's core of the topic. Like, I can't read things like libertarianism, coercion, or biopower, which are specific to control over individuals. B point defending corporations enables them to garner offense off the resources the companies own. That justifies conscripting companies to just give the government things for free, allowing tons of new advantages and thinning uh, crap kills. Class, they don't have to defend their proposal against well research objections. As a voter, tons of screwed up things we can't fix. So the app getting for solutions competing in terms reasonability causes a race at the bottom because debaters keep being barely reasonable magnifying abuse drop the debaters that's pressing debaters won't be abusive no rbis real world applicability winning theory is not a reason to vote you up in the real world proving you're meeting a necessary role will not give you a war to discouraging checking abuse because debaters will be afraid to lose on theory next off the affirmative discourse represents an inherently unstable world needing short-term solutions to constant threats this form of security logic authorizes global domination and violence sureness one the seeds of insecurity breed a sense of vulnerability frustration and insecurity are more threat to the existence of our nation there's no hope for compromise yet there is effectively a turner yet the sense of helplessness is satisfying preserves the conviction of innocence policies because of promises to prevent and change, change the status quo pretends catastrophe so it can only meet balance with more violence. always have vanities because we're always fighting there's no way to talk about security without voicing fears of insecurity no way to express optimism without expressing despair self-fulfilling prophecy a self-perpetuating spiral balance a trap that seems to offer no way out its process and conclusions so necessary so inevitable that no other story can be imagined the national insecurity state stands in security the dominant interpretation of in response to the attacks evidence is irrelevant the fear comes first before any evidence that is warranted we know that our existence is certain because it is obviously there in the circular arguments of life on our security to the language that affirms the enduring truth of the prevailing discourse and worldview magnitude of dangers measured by cultural needs rather than empirical considerations and securitization is a product of hegemonic forms and knowledge about politics meaning a case of prereq turns case in takes that boss from weird critique of this logic for seven War is a product of hegemonic forms and knowledge about political action, about ontologies, dominate policy, primary stand in for a reason, and firmly draws out every other possibility of revealing destructive features of modernity derived from calculative empirical discourse of a scientific and political truth uh, combined within such an epistemological universe. Policy makers' choices become necessities. Humans suffer and die. Rationality is the chain of reasoning which builds one, one another until action. However, violence becomes real and societies are trapped within in framing an ontology of the front and enemy. And the alternative is to do the plan without their security discourse. The act of situating ourselves against it, your security in all forms through the means of debate is the only way to be emancipated from the deep entrenchment of security in our minds and society in the say. The only way out of strategy is so ideologically loaded that any real political thought that then with the chain reaction I should be pressed to give it up. Security marginalizes all else another world is possible. Security politics turns political questions to interview. It's about the most efficient way to achieve security. Security politics is an anti-politics nominated to be used. Mistake has been to think that there is a hole to be filled with new security real tasks to fight for an alternative political language to chase us beyond security. The negative may be as significant as the positive is uh, in setting new paths. We need a new way of thinking and talking about being in politics that moves us beyond security. Recognizing security is a solution requires accepting that insecurity is part of the human condition. Next off, corporations don't want to be constricted. constricted it creates conflicts of interest that incentivize them to offshore to protect them and uh, their neutrality brenner and clark 10. In the case of an ambiguous cyber attack with uncertain uh, uh, protagonist subject of multinational enterprises that have to create a perception of neutrality or unvice for all potential combats and conscripts are forced to use knowledge that infringes on, uh, upon uh, intellectual property laws. Infringement upon intellectual property rights is another concern for companies. Brenner and Clark 11 cyber co conscript is drafted for ability to bring specialized knowledge that knowledge include information ideas protected under intellectual property laws. Property can become an issue. Conscripts uh, executive order requires knowledge of information associated with third party software. The third party license should bar the conscript's orders on the basis that she would use its intellectual property. Such an act would constitute 
Infringement executing orders could expose the government to liability under P laws and concern over IP assets causes companies to leave the US Kim 17. For companies that rely on IP assets for market position, also financial value moving, IP assets offshore can have benefits in terms of protection, minimizing tax liability, offshore holding companies shield, IP assets from domestically incurred liability. Suppose your company is filing for bankruptcy. If your company owns IP assets directly, those could be at risk when the federal collective assets are held in an offshore corporation. They remain secure in turns case offshore and makes the US more, more vulnerable to cyber taxes. Other countries hire American IT experts who have advanced tech and US tech secrets backed by 12. Offshoring undermines the I American IT experts. Highly skilled people are key to pro uh, pro uh, protecting American networks and data backdoor built into the critical system. We have a film more leaving nationwide networks open to outside control. The PA3 chip could allow Chinese cyber spy uh, uh, cyber spies remote access. The chip is used in U.S. military hardware. Chinese intelligence services only work with those with direct access to corporate networks to steal trade secrets and other sensitive property data. Go to case off the underview. We're material. Their evidence just said we just says we need material solutions. I don't solely focus on reps. I uh, defend the plan without their representations. Top level on case no solvency draft fees only are only used post attacks means their impacts occur, then draftees engage in counter-attacking measures, thus they don't stop infrastructure breakdowns, and the plan results in massive legalistic conflicts. The Constitution only applies to kinetic warfare. The plan gets rolled back, and drafting companies is specifically bad. It results in conflicts in the chain of command between employers and the military, gutting cyber readiness and response capabilities. Brenner and College 10. Cyber work conscription must be selected if its goals would be to compose the villains who have technical expertise. Cyber work conscription generates any legal issues. Constitutionality would depend on the legal status of the semi constructs If they are put under military control for certain purposes, their status could raise questions about the propriety of infringing on liberty. This raises the issue of whether Congress can conscript civilians for purposes if civilians inducted into the military are they still employees of the companies on an employer might resist having its workforce operated under the military. This great conflicting chains command if the civilian management of a company and the military officers like for control over the workforce conscription with limited ability to control operations and cybersecurity creates more threats and allows criminals to learn more about how to break past security, Palmer 16. The same technologies that improve defenses could attack them. AI, AI could tailor phishing messages to make the message uh, message tell the victim to contact some more info that's available the easier for an AI to learn about the victim and exploit it could predict answers to security questions, access, and pretend to be our kid. Our AI with the right information could trick them into clicking anything means where victims' artificial intelligence could be used to keep criminals in developing male malware ahead of those attempting to shut them down or altering the malicious code to avoid detection. AI has already been used to exploit vulnerabilities off cyber zero impact to cyber attacks. Overwhelming consensus with qualified authors goes net grade 13. This guy's not following cyber action is limited by its image materiality law, strategic logic of such is not promises to speculation is unpersuasive. It's inconceivable that cyber can overthrow the government. Cyber would be very unlikely to harm human beings, limited harm from cyber would hardly appeal as coercive moves that are of offense are easy to overstate. The more sophisticated code for cyber, the more certain that mistakes will be made. Cyber defense should function well enough to shut the motivation in order to do so. Efforts to disrupt the systems ought to be unable to achieve widespread effects. Military networks are accessible, neither the amateur nor the enemy. Cyber Pearl Harbor refi uh, reflects ignorance of military competence as targets are extremely hard to access, and the knowledge required is forbidding and catastrophic results is extremely improbable. Scientific technological and tactical knowledge indicates this guy's unlikely to fall in the future as a result of cyber. This analysis has weighed the literature and concludes the cyber alarmism has a uh has little basis now. Go to the second advantage. No impact to the economy. Also answers foster adjustment 14. Diversity wars armed to a great power conflict. The aggregate data suggests otherwise peaceful in 2012 is the same as 2007. Violence declined. The good recession is not triggered. Violent conflict. The crisis is not generated. Protectionist nationalism or ethnic exclusion in capers. The government will always create cyber threats. So investor confidence will always be low even with the plan. And econ is resilient. US isn't key and imp uh, impact empirically denied. Lamy 11. The test came the first global recession market state open despite pressures. The system of rules and disciplines held from a series of uh, reports. We found governments acted with, with great restraint. Market state and countries continue to grow you ever more attractive markets for countries that were struggling including America cool. uh, I'll send a version of like the doc without the two cards that I didn't read okay so good yeah uh, do you want to start cross exo yeah that's cool all right uh, let's turn the security key sure uh, what are the impacts uh, the impact is just that your form of security logic just justifies like all sorts of violence. Uh, an example of this would be people like Trump saying that ISIS is like regionally expanding, yeah. thus we must bomb the hell out of them. But this sort of logic would authorize legalistic okay, solutions how does the app that would like cause collateral cool. damage. Which is how does cool. how does the app look without security rhetoric? Uh, like, well, like our, our, the app? well, my argument is just that like we like do the like pass the plan without your justifications. Wait, so we just flat pass the plan with no reason to do so. No, it's not that there's no reason to do so. It's so, a critique okay. of the reasons you use. So do you, okay, why would like why would the negative be somehow net beneficial when you didn't show us like why it would matter to pass the plan? Well, your performance is like the net benefit to voting on the alternative, which is like material. Okay, then let's the go, argument I, is just that let's like- Let's go, I guess, to the underview. So you make this argument how you mediate, because, like you say your material 
uh, how are you material when it's a wrap space like argument? Well, no, you're so first your cover stone evidence just says we need state based solutions, which the alternative would be. Second, your Brian piece of evidence just says that the problem with like abstraction is people constantly critique things but never interact with material structures. I'm literally the, literally the opposite of that. I'm critiquing something and producing like a material solution. Okay, sounds good. Let's go uh, to the app. Uh, you make this argument of no solvency, Josh should only use post attacks. So if we said this, like, why is that true? Uh, so all your solvency mm -hmm. is predicated on like this US force, like countering infrastructure attacks. Our argument is that just like, that just proves that your impacts would occur post app. Uh, like infrastructure would be destroyed. What comes before T or the K? Um, I'll go with T comes first. T comes first. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's go to, I guess, the, uh, the answers to, uh, to the app. So you read these like answers to cyber, how there's no motivation. So what's the argument here, right? If other countries want to be better in the US, why is that not enough motivation? Uh, the argument is that that is not enough motivation to like trigger some conflict. The argument is, is that this sort of like these sort of cyber attacks also have a risk for those countries, like a risk of like going to war and stuff. So they would not do that. Also, our evidence is very good on this issue. It indicates that like policymakers have used these sort of threat constructions in the last two decades. So like any time, but like any arguments for like like this time it, our threats are real don't apply because okay, policymakers so have literally so said have that for win, the last two decades. You have to win the security argument to weigh that, right? What? Like it's, that's based on the security's argument. Well, no, the the great thirteen evidence itself indicates that like for the last two decades people okay. have been like cyber attacks, cyber attacks, but nothing's happened. All right, let's go again to the K, I guess. Uh, so what are the, like the inputs of the K? You said that it allows for uh, more violence to occur, right? Uh, yeah. How is that not security decision as well? Right. You're saying that you the can't just, is bad because you can't, it lead to more violence. You can't violence just as well. be like you say violence. That's a link. No, the it's not violence, like, right? The argument is that what yeah, the app can, does I leads to more. I like, can give you death, an example. I can give you an example, like a material example. Cool. Like tr when Trump says when Trump says ISIS is regionally expanding, his justification is that ISIS is like securitizing uh, against brown bodies, and he Trump himself uses that justification to securitize against ISIS. Like that is a form of violence that security logic causes that the K would say is bad. Okay, uh, I'll start from. Okay. Uh, I don't get how like you will still not link, right? You make this argument about how security is bad because so, it leads to more like uh, violence to occur. Yet you're reasoning towards why the affirmative is bad because it leads to more violence. Well, no, like it's that. it's your logic. The link specifically on Isn't the game. Isn't your logic to listen the same? Wait, thing? I can walk you through the link. The link is just that you are a form of threat inflation, which is bad because it authorizes violence. Similarly, Trump is a form of threat inflation when he says like violent like violent extremists are like or like islamic terrorism is on the rise and will like kill people in the u.s yet no one knows who people like mcveigh are who did the oklahoma city bombing he was a white domestic terrorist good. like that is the sort of violence that that's logic justifies it's not just you say violence
Uh, give me a second. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, it'll be uh, counter inter, their inter, AC, and then it'll be KDA. Actually, DA i I'll see. Uh. All right, I'm good. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. A country interim having defended the United States National Service ought to be compulsory for corporations, national services specific to their human or corporations, dictionary account, compulsory military service, doesn't specify who it is for, a military service can imply groups, not just individuals. We can de military service is serviced by an individual group in an army or other militia, meaning that we still meet because even though we draft corporations, we say that the people that are going to be drafted are still just groups of people, so we meet that and prefer one topic education. The resolution didn't specify whether or not national service should be compulsory for the military corporations, so they intend to leave it open to interpretation, i.e., this is a conflicted definition, just a question of whether or not the definition was implied in the first place. Key to education could one uniqueness, other around soul for education, individual national service, there's no other way to learn about corporation national service, even though Clark and Brenner have it's clearly indicated it's important to have it and to breath away staff, it is our only chance to learn about this topic, so we should learn about as many different aspects of it as possible as to prepare for real world discussions on any, uh, any connotation of it and education about it is the only, it is the reason students do it and the reason schools fund it, if you want a fair activity, just flip a coin, it's clearly not good enough, you have to actually have education in order to do anything, it's not the only thing that we take as a particip participation of debates all the way and on their show, I meet the African increase of people who work in corporations, the adults conscript individuals, so Sure, I said that we can screw corporations, but people are going to be into the military, still people, which means that all the like their DAs and links still uh, apply. No abuse, uh, companies have the same legal status as individuals, so A, I'm compared to people, and B, all this is applied, Brenner and Clark 10, the doctrine's conference can be extrapolated to corporate entities because the law recognizes corporations as citizens that share duties and obligations of citizenship and under shell proper. They make this limits argument. Uh, first, no one, they, they, even if people are still conscripted in the affirmative, mean that all the arguments about politics and coercion still apply because the corporations, uh, one, you can make arguments towards how the, comp uh, the government uh, uh, conscripting corporations is bad and still biopolitical. You can make arguments towards how the people are still going to be biopolitically controlled by the state since it was the state's decision. Then uh, you can go into the app. Okay. Uh, so in the app, first you can extend the framing. They do not actually argue, so you can say in the Bible, it's how we base, or the, the the only way we base things is of a past or like ex, uh, past experiences, and that's how we know intrinsic features. And you extend the actual specificity argument that says that the only way that we can do things is through policy action. They can see this, and you uh, then I'll go to uh, you extend Bostrom. I show you that even if you value things like discourse, the only way that you can have like any type of value for anything is if we're alive. So Bostrom will still like uh, our way there. Then you can go into the like case proper. First, you can extend the cyber attacks are live in the school, both Russia and North Korea. That's the loudest in the Rosemont and Madden. That's especially true because they make these arms of a threat construction. Well, no, they do not answer the war, so why these threats are real, meaning that there's just being a chance that this will happen. This will still away under Bostrom. For, so he sends up and he says that threats could be imagined, but we say that the threats are specifically true and they do not answer the warrants behind them, so they can't make this a threat construction argument. And then you extend that the risk of cyber attacks is only increasing. That's ACI, which turns your arguments towards how the past like experience have not actually shown how cybersecurity could actually harm, but no, we say that in the future, specifically. True, so you can extend that, and then you extend that uh, cyber attacks, risk, mass escalation, and nuclear war that spreads, or they lead to grid shots, and that causes conflict, solution to go nuclear, still for an waste of one time for the risk is high now. None of their other impacts matter if nuclear war has already killed us, and two reversibility nuclear war due to MISCO has no remedy. So I'll win on the first advantage, and then you extend how I, how I solve the mega service source. I have no I solve for it. Like I conscript after it happens, but no, we conscript when the situation happens, and that leads to them solving. We say that the military there's no other way for them to actually solve this issue, which means I'll oh, wait here, they have no solvency. Then you can go into the like. Uh, threat construction argument that I make. 
Perm to the app and the all in other instances, enemy risk of threat is a real net benefit, threat are real strong incentives against inflation, revenue nine, notion security. of security, bureaucracy is looking for enemies in the threat error. What is missing from threat inflation is why uh, is why security roles and body expectations of rationality and objectivity role. The re 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 behavior tends to be formalized, transparent and corrupt security planning is done in reviewed frameworks, non rationality is bad for prediction, get filter out, people are fired, security analysis, and just put again, uh, this is true in the council, the, uh, they're going for this out how they also do the affirmative vote. You should not give them this way because they do not show you why the affirmative would be good without a security discourse. We say that the reason you Pass the affirmative because extinction is a clear threat, meaning that even like if you buy, like they get this like uh, alternative, we say that essential still away. They do not give you reasons why their plan will be better since they reject our reasons for passing the plan, so they have no that benefits. Then you're going to the DA. One, no brink and unique and the link. Your evidence literally says that it's already going down, meaning that the A is terminally non unique and to a string of limited link is the that you don't qualify. How many companies are multinational? For all we know, it could be only a handful, so the F still works. Uh, I had. The 3.45? Yes. Uh, starting now. Is it okay if I go to the bathroom? Please yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Uh, wait, you just read the first two arguments on the disk. Oh, yeah, do you want me to call what I didn't read? Uh, no, it's, it's fine. It's just the first two arguments. Yeah, yeah and on the K, just I read the and threats real. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so the warrant for this Ravenel 9 evidence is just that, like, your threat, like, just that threats are based on evidence, right? Uh, well, which part? Ravenel 9, the one on the critique. Yeah, so it says that there's strong incentives, like, why doing the affirmative would be good. So even if inflation does occur, like, it's still something that we have to consider. The reason that security, security is bad, but the affirmative is not an act of securitization, since we show the threats are real and you don't show us why they're not. Uh, the order is going to be overview and
critique case. Overview critique case. Yeah. Is everyone good? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I'll, yeah, that's fine. I won't go for theory. You didn't make an RBI, so don't vote on it. On the dis, on, on the dis, I'll concede that corporations are pulling out of the U.S. right now. Proves the dis that's not even go to the critique framing issue. You've conceded the Burke evidence securitizing representations are products of hegemonic knowledge production that define how we formulate an enact policy. That means the desirability the one is is situated at the level of the representations, not just the neutral way they attempted to simulate plan enactment. A negative bout is a choice against a representation. It's not a question of what you do, but how you do it. That's Burke. Go to the link. The affirmative is an endorsement of securitized logic. One, their drive for national security is rooted in self sense of vulnerability, frustration, and insecurity. Second, there are constant logic creating threats, creates the perception that there's not a limit to disasters, it makes it so people lose hope in combating these, uh, these threats when something catastrophic actually happens, when humanity won't do anything. Case impacts are thus inevitable. Three, their epistemology is fought by the threat industry. They fall part of the circular argument that their existence is obviously threatened. We psychologically allow magnitude of danger to outweigh empirical considerations for the world is inherently unstable, which means they will always be securitizing because they will always create threats. This also means you can vote negative on perception because no plan will get them out of the self-fulfilling prophecy. That's Chernus 1. If I win case defense, the link Debate goes negative. Proves the 1AC doesn't have a robust analysis of their threats. They just try to capitalize on fears and go to the impact. Extend Burke 7. Security, securitization is the root cause of where their RDLG controls politics and has caused violence, uh, violent, uh, violent fears to place reason. Confirmed by the 1AC, they overblow cyber uh, threats to justify the plan that traps us in a cycle of violence. We constantly try to create friend versus enemy representations and dominate others. Their performance is the epitome of every policymaker during the Cold War. Foreign, in, uh, foreign interests are threatening U.S. power, which will cause the end of humanity. Thus, we must intervene to preserve it. Yet, in reality, conflicts have been at all time lows whenever the U.S. has very low hegemony. That means the case turns and always case. The rhetoric before reason charge. He makes violence inevitable. They propose short-term solutions, but fail to, uh, f fail to recognize the larger structure of securitization, which is the only explanation of their impacts. Go to the alternative. Extend the Oakley state. The alternative is to reject the affirmative securitizing discourse. Open up a political space to free from security. So a co-option of political questions. The one you see representations affirm an insecure world of narrow policy formation to satisfy the best way to achieve security as role players. We must fight for an alternative political language. Only once our discourse moves beyond realist assumptions can the mandates of the plan unlock a sustainable Solvency, go to their arguments first off the perm one. This argument is a non starter. All of our link arguments are intrinsic to either the plan or the representations of the one I see. Otherwise, this perm is severance, which is a voting issue for uh, a voting issue for advocacy skills. It makes the alpha moving target means that we can't engage in engagement and kills advocacy skills because they don't have to defend their arguments against well researched uh, proposals. And advocacy skills as a voter tends to screw up things in the wood. We can't fix about advocating solutions. Advocacy skills is also functionally education, which they've conceded is very important in the last speech. Second, it's intrinsic. We are criticizing the instance of the alpha as a means to reorient the political. It's not like a process. Process counter plan intrinsic perms for a voter because they make the alpha moving target and allow them to spike out of our link arguments crossed by the arguments from above for why that's bad. Three, it's an all or nothing issue. Having a good ontology is like topicality. It's a yes or no question. The permutations parceling out of what the alternative does robs us, robs it of any radical potential and can't capture a solvency for this. Assumes the app is minuscule. If any of their advantages are true, like the plan being the lynch, uh, the, the linchpin of cyber command, then the app is part of the system which justifies all exclusion. You don't get to say everything else is bad except the app five. You've conceded that it's not a traditional alt. It is the the plan minus your representations. You can't leverage case solvency because presumably any reason for, for why the plan is effective is a reason for why the app, uh, the, 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 the counter plan is effective as well. The critical distinction is just literally what you got up and said in the 1AC and that's the decide, which is the reason for why you should vote on the counter plan. Next you say, uh, 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 off your Ravenel 9 evidence, one, uh, one, one, you've also conceded impact defense on the econ advantage. You can't just go for one advantage, not respond to the other impact defense. That's still a link that proves that your rhetoric was still violent and you didn't, you, and you You've conceded that you overblew all your threats, which is still a link to the critique. Second turn, uh, 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 second turn, people working for the government have extremely strong incentives to make, uh, to make threats. It sustains their power and lets them justify literally anything. That's in the extensions of the critique. Three, it's reject their totalizing claims. Their evidence just says policymakers always follow evidence, but I am winning specific defense on case specific to cyber for why it is not true in the case of cyber. So you should err our evidence. Now go to case. 
I'll go for a couple arguments. First, on the top level, you've conceded the Brenner and Clark 10 evidence, which indicates that the plan results in massive legalistic conflicts because the Constitution only applies to the kinetic warfare. The, the plan gets rolled back because drafting companies is specifically bad and causes conflicts in the chain of command between employers and the military. That guts cyber readiness and responsibilities. You've completely conceded. Uh, you've completely conceded a case turn, which takes out case solvency. Now go to the cyber advantage. There's a couple of arguments I'll go for here. First, I'll go for the grade 13 impact defense. Uh, impact defense on case one cyber. There's a, 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 a cyber attacks won't ha won't happen and there's no impact one there's no motivation you conceded countries realize they'll be screwed if they mess with the u.s that can that takes out the only warrant that the one AR extends for why threats are uniquely high now north korea knows the boundaries they know that they will get they that they will get obliterated if they try to cyber attack the u.s so they won't do it and second we have sufficient defenses right now you've conceded that cyber command has been doing well for the last two decades prove that status quo solves three people have said for the last two decades that threats are increasing but don't buy these claims especially because there's no warrant for why they're increasing uh Angel just gets uh, Angel just gets up and says that it, uh, all the threats are uniquely high now, but there's zero warrant isolated for why that's true. You, uh, that's why you should err on empirics, which prove that in the last 20 years, literally nothing has happened. Also, you should err uh, uh, neg on the fact that overwhelming consensus goes neg. Most research specialists agree with the analysis that there that cyber attacks are low, and even if cyber attacks occur, they will have little to no impact. Proves that there's no escalation, and that takes out the only offense the one AR goes for. That has multiple implications. One, that's another link to the critique because that proves you're a form of threat. That's uh, that's confirmed by your uh, by, by, by your mishandling of the uh, impact defense. Second implication is even if you don't buy the counter, uh, even if you don't buy the critique, you can still vote negative on presumption. The fact that I've devoted so much time to the defense and one that it's extremely unlikely that I have any offense means you presume neg because you conceded that the AF doesn't have a net benefit from the status quo on the economy. You've also conceded the Dresner 14 evidence, which indicates that whenever we've had recessions in the past, uh, literally no violent outbreaks have occurred. That's another link to the critique. You can't just not go for an advantage. The link is to your rhetoric not to what you go for. I'll start proud. I have 35 seconds left. All right. Deirdre will be framing framing uh, firm framing kid AC. So first of framing, they, they conceded to the framing. The only answer that it makes on boss framing is how this basically allows for us to create a circuit for the state by our argument that is even that we buy this because we buy the reps arguments. The extension will always comes first. The boss framing basically says that the only way that we actually prescribe value to the sphinx is because one, we know the consequences to the only way that the sphinx will matter is if extinction does not occur. The only argument towards why threat construction argument not address them in the line by line, but also they conceded to the role of the ball and DNC. They said that they also propose a policy making, so you have to weigh whether the policy making to the alternative will be better than the affirmative, who will clearly be not because it has no, no net benefits. They just say that you do a plan because they critique the reps. But they also critique the reasons why I say we should do the plan, meaning that the uh, like the alt has no net benefits. Then, uh, you, but then you can go into the K frames. You can extend the per the frames that says you do the app and, and, and the alt in all other instances. Any risk of threat is real net benefits. For us, they make these arguments with how they do the affirmative without the rather. But no, we say that you must do the affirmative and complete because it's the only way that it makes sense on your utilitarian framework. Since there's no reason why governmental actors will pass the plan if it has no possible net benefits. All in here, they did not make any arguments. They just could, like make turns to the app. But then they say that you're also advocating for the app. Meaning they don't solve the only arguments they will have for solvency is how threat construction will cause problems and like that comes first. Also, the arguments that they make here are why this is intrinsic 
So, first, uh, no, we still do the after in this instance, meaning that it's not interesting to the round, and still defend the plants, as we say that we do it in the other instances, so sure we're adding something, but it's not something that stops us from defending the plants, so all the arguments still link, and two, we say that interesting firms, and this specific scenario allows the app policy to still be weighted, not it's impossible to affirm, because it could just go to reasons why our reps are bad every single round, and reasons why one thing that they're always bad, and not letting us shift from this now is bad, also, especially if you see, like, some of his links, his links are basically that, I say that extinction or dying is a problem, and that I dropped an, an advantage, so, uh, Clearly that solves, and also uh, their arguments have about how, okay, let's go to case. Uh, so in case, first it makes its arguments to how it dropped the second abandonment, so this is just another link to the, this is just another link to the case. No, I have four minutes to answer. Give me more time ago, I mean, to answer to a second abandonment. Time allocation is a thing. Then you can go into the, basically the, uh, the advantages, the only arguments that they make is towards how I give you no reason towards why the affirmative is specifically important, but no, you can't extend the first advantage to say that North Korea, cyber attacks are likely. These are the first two cards you're ever gonna make here that I don't tell you why, but no, I shoot that threats are real in this instance. If threats are real, we should address them. The arguments for threat construction should only be applied when they keep put defense towards why this is not actually happening. The only arguments that I may make are this great card, but the great card is also just a reason why threat construction is a reason why this will not occur. And then they say that I don't tell you why this increased, but no, the ACI evidence is pretty good on this. It says that in the next the bad decade, we'll begin to see this because of change in security policies and change in uh, change in security policies and also changing basically the technology that we have. This card is very good here. It shows that it will actually allow for the, the, the impacts that we talk about. So then you can go to the impacts. You can still tell for 12 that says that cyber attacks cause infrastructure shut down. That is case nuclear war. It's like very clear impact. We're the only ones actually going for any extinction impacts. Unless you have bus from analysis, that's already enough. Then you can extend the actual specificity. That's the only reason why governmental actions will pass policies because of the utilitarian calculus that they have. They do not do any U2 way. So the alternative will never be able to solve. Even if the K arguments like somehow like allow for securitization, we say that in other instances would solve. That will be enough to already solve for the other Boda. Is a good debate, uh, over and negative on security. Um, I think there uh, are uh, a couple of issues with the one AR strategy on security. Uh, firstly, given that it's a pick and does the entirety affirmative, uh, you need offense as to why either security is good or I guess like securitizing is good or rejecting security is bad. You have neither of these things. You have like okay. a purely defense, like threats real, real uh, if we win the case and whatever, and like case outweighs. Okay. But all of those things are solved by the pick. Like if the case is good, the pick does it. If threats are real, 
then like okay, like there's okay. a little risk that they're not as a result, then uh, I would vote negative. We okay. need offense because it's a pick or some theoretical reason to reject it. Similar to permutation, you can see that severance, which it definitely is. He's like, do the plan minus the reps. I don't understand how permutation would be anything but severance. Okay. Um, as a result, I think you just need offense, otherwise you're like largely screwed. Uh, I can go through specific arguments. Um, one, I think he's winning a number of links. The first is uh, that you have like just conceded that the second advantage is wrong. Um, I think this isn't a great argument, but uh, like if his argument is that the just the discourse of securitization is wrong, clearly you have securitized if you've conceded that something you said was just objectively incorrect and was securitizing. Um, that seems like a reasonable link. I think the better one is just the first advantage that you do go for that I think you're like pretty far behind on. The 2AR says, uh, North Korea is attacking now, uh, cyber threats are real, the ACI evidence says that they'll ramp up in the next decade, uh, compared to this ray of, or gray evidence uh, that is just like a wall of reasons that they don't work. So there's no motivation for other countries to attack, North Korea knows they'll get wrecked if they try, there's sufficient cyber okay. defense, our cyber command has been fine for 20 years, uh, there's overwhelming consensus among analysts that there's no chance of a cyber attack, like, there's just like a, a litany of reasons yeah. that their app is wrong. Uh, compared to, we swear it'll ramp up in the future. Uh, I read both the cards, and the negative evidence is just like substantially better. As a result, I think there's like a pretty good chance that uh, the app is securitizing. I also think the Brenner and Clark evidence is conceded that the plan uh, doesn't solve anyway. So I think even if I just did not want to wait in the security debate, you conceded a case turn. So I think it's a little easier uh, in that direction. Um, I think a discussion of the two arguments in the one AR on the critique. The first is that the threats are real. Um, I think you need specific evidence. Obviously, this app is very susceptible to the security yeah. critique. Um, the best way to answer the security critique is with very specific evidence. So if you're like, our specific threats are real. Okay. Here are reasons why North Korea will for sure attack us, or here are reasons why Russia will for sure attack us, whatever okay. uh, uh, sort of other actor or whatever. Uh, those are much better cards than, you know, just generally speaking, people yeah, okay. are right about stuff. because. Uh, that just begs the question of whether your people are those people. Uh, similarly, you need specific link evidence, just like there is security and then hoping to win case defense. Couch is a little too much on your case defense, because if he wins that the case is correct, you're shafted. If you read, like, cybersecurity threats are inflated and you lose the case defense, there's still a chance for you. Uh, whereas with this, no. Uh, especially if you read like specific, like our threats are not real, okay. you're just gonna lose uh, with like this sureness card because there's just, like no chance that you're like, sometimes threats are constructed and he's like, these ones are not. You're gonna be like, wow. Like, there's not a lot that you can say about that. Um, I think you should make it a lot clearer that you're cheating. Um, you're like, the fact that this is a pick comes up like once and it's like kind of small, you're like, can't leverage solvency because the counterplan does the same. But like the top of the one in R should be like, listen, they goofed, like this does the app minus some inconsequential stuff. Okay. I like, there's like no way that they can win this debate given that they don't have offense for security good. Um, the last argument that I'll talk about is this argument that you go for in the 2AR that's like, um, like the alt doesn't have any net benefits because it doesn't give any reasons for the plan. I mean, presumably not. Like if it is like if you win 100% of your advantage and they just do it for a different reason, it would still presumably result in the same like outcome. Like presumably it would still protect us against cyber attacks. Okay. Um, yeah. They just like decided to do it because like I don't know, yeah. they wanted to try out their new pen and sign the legislation. Like it doesn't. I don't understand why you need specific reasoning for the same advantage or like the same outcome to happen. Uh, similarly, there's this argument that like the government wouldn't pass it if there's no justification for it. Well, like, I mean, maybe, but I think fiat would probably solve that argument. Okay. And also, like, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I feel like fiat would resolve that just because okay. presumably there are reasons that people would not want to pass the app that we ignore. I don't know why we wouldn't just ignore it, this in this situation. Uh, can I ask you something about the perm? Of course. So he went for, like, he didn't go for perm, like, was well, severance, and went for perm is intrinsic. Like, do you just think that Toyar arguments are, were, like, not good enough? Um, I disagree. I think the first argument that is made in the NR is that the perm is severance. Uh, intrinsic. Oh, do you make one? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, not my bad. I, I misheard that. It's uh, all good. 
but uh, I think you answer the intrinsicness arguments, and you're like, uh, it's not adding something that would stop us from doing the app, um, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Okay. I think it just his argument is like you add stuff which lets the app spike out of links, which is bad for obvious reasons. Um, and you're like, but we still do the app. Well, like true, but like if they were like politics, and you were like, we do the app, but also we get rid of the government. Like presumably, you still do the app, but you add unfair things to get rid of uh, whatever's. I also think that you uh, can see this argument that's like it's an all or nothing issue. Even if uh, you win that the perm is legitimate, I don't think you win excellent perm solvency because he's like, if okay. we solve the half, we just win that security is bad. And you don't really have a good reason security is good. Uh, the last argument, like the second party argument, is that intrinsicness is good in this case because like they've done they read this. I think the second party argument might justify that they shouldn't get to read it, but I'm not sure why it justifies intrinsicness. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so do you think that one the R should have just gone for transfer security, like offense security? Uh, I think it needs that. Yeah. Like it's against a pick, you need offense. Okay. Like some sort of solvency deficit. Otherwise you're just gonna lose like defense against a pick is a losing strategy hundred yeah. percent of the time. Okay. Um I also think that some sort of theoretical argument might be smart because yeah. like clearly this is kind of cheating. Um What would the theoretical argument be? Because it's not really a floating pick, right? So well, it's already just a regular pick. So it's just uh, bad. This is a pick out of something that's like the most arbitrary possible thing. Like this is like. So should it be like picks out of discourse bad or picks I mean, out of reps bad? Reps picks bad is an okay. argument like that. Makes Sounds sense. good. Um, I just I, I think it is uniquely worse that it's a pick out of representations versus something else because yeah. given like some other random pick, you could weigh that. I, well, maybe. I guess maybe there are just more part, like more conceivable reps that you could pick up, pick out of than like conceivable parts of the plan. Okay. Like presumably we could have like actor picks and then like maybe something else, but reps are obviously a lot less common. Cool. Thank you for judging us. Yeah. Yeah.